Pokemon Origins. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Origins. Today we're looking at the fire starters from the Kalos region, Fennekin and its evolutions, Brigson and Delphox. Let's get started. So starting off with Fennekin, or its Japanese name, Foko. It is the Fox Pokemon, and number 653 in the National X. It stands at 0.4 meters or 1 foot 4 inches, and weighs 9.4 kilograms or 20.7 pounds. Being the fire type starter, it is a pure fire type. Now first off looking at its design, Fennekin is a quadruped fox-like Pokemon with pale yellow fur and has longer fur on the back of its legs, on, it, on the back of its back legs. It also has dark orange fur coming out of its ears and a white muzzle around the lower half of its face. This hair is longer on its cheeks. It has large orange eyes and a pointed black nose, much like an actual fox, and has small paws with no visible toes or claws. It also has slim legs, a fluffy tail which has a dark orange tip. Now, Fennekin is based simply on a Fennec fox as you can see by the large ears and just the general fox-like features. There are no gender differences between Fennekin, and Fennekin's shiny form is a sort of a purplish, a light purple colour with a darker reddish orange ear fur. And its Pokedex entry states that it eats twigs for energy and also that it intimidates other enemies' opponents by puffing hot air out of their ears. So you can obviously see this as their main source of fire or heat, I guess you could say. The Japanese name Foco is a combination of fox and fuoco, which is Italian for fire. It may also come from ko, meaning fox, or ko, which also means child. So basically it just means young fox. The English name, Fennekin, is a combination of Fennec, obviously from Fennec Fox, and Kindle, which means to start a fire. Looking at Fennekin's model from Generation 6, we can see very simply here, it looks very small, it's a very cute Pokemon as well, much like its design to be honest. And then looking at its size, we can see measuring up to the top of its head, at 0.4 meters or 1 foot 4 inches, it's a decent sized Pokemon, but not amazingly huge or amazingly small. It's about the same size as Pikachu, as you can see on the comparison there with Ash. Now, actually, um, since the last videos and installments in these series, I have changed Ash's height. Looking at a new sort of reference image from the anime, I've decided he's slightly taller now, about 5 foot 3 inches or 1.6 meters. Um, I got this basically from the reference of Pikachu there. You can see he's basically, you know, growing up, um, which obviously is something a lot of people. Uh, actually thank um, it's actually happened in the anime. Anyway, we shall now carry on to Fennekin's evolution, which is Brakeson. Its Japanese name is Taruna, and it is the Fox Pokemon also. It's number 654 in the National Dex, obviously coming after Fennekin, and stands at 1 meter tall or 3 foot 3 inches, and weighs 14.5 kilograms or 32 pounds. Much like Fennekin, it's a pure fire type, not gaining a secondary type quite yet. And Fennekin will evolve into Brakeson starting at level 16. So Brakeson is a bipedal fox-like Pokemon that has majorly yellow fur with black underfur and legs. It has a white face, arms and sort of chest tuff and a dark orange tail tip. It has longer fur on its cheeks and also fur covering its shoulders. It has long orange fur swooping out from its ears and orange eyes and nose. Its fur at its hips sweeps outwards, and obviously this is where you get the grey under fur from. It also carries a stick in its tail at all times, coming from Fennekin's tendency to eat sticks, and it also lights this using its tail fur. So obviously, much like Fennekin's source was you know, the heat from the ears, again we can assume Brakeson carries on that with its ears, but also the tail is a sort of source of heat as well. Like Fennekin, it's based on a Fennec Fox, as you can see from the large ears and the general fox-like design, but also on a witch, a wizard or a sorcerer, and this is something we'll touch on more when we look at Delphox. Now, much like Fennekin, there are no gender differences between Brixen, and Brixen's shiny form has, again like Fennekin, purple fur and redder ear fur. It also sets its twig alight using friction, and uses this flame to send signals to allies, so it's obviously, you know, a Morse code I would assume, or some other method. The Japanese name Taruna is a combination of tail and renard, which is French for fox. The English name Brixen is a combination of braise, which is French for hot charcoal, and vixen, which means female fox, or is a word for a female fox. So again, we can see there's a lot of fox inspiration going on here. 
Brixen's model from Generation 6 is, as you can see on screen now, similar to Fennekin's race, not a huge amount of difference between the evolutions, but you can see it's now obviously bipedal rather than four-legged. Um, it's up to you really whether you like that. Uh, one thing I remember when Brixen was originally revealed, a lot of people didn't like it. Um, they thought it was going to be another firefighting, but obviously as we know, we'll find out in a minute, it's not firefighting. So then I'm finally looking at size here, we can see standing at 1.1 meter or 3 foot 3 inches, again measuring to the top of his head. We can see it's a fairly large Pokemon actually, not quite as tall as Ash yet, but it's a reasonable height around it, so I assume we'll see that in the anime at some point, that it's not, you know, huge, but it's not small either. Then if we move on to its evolution, Delphox, we can see its Japanese name is Mafokushi, and like its pre-evolutions, it is the Fox Pokemon. It's number 655 in the National Dex, and stands at 1.5 meters or 4 foot 11 inches, and weighs 39 kilograms or 86 pounds. It is a fire psychic type, finally gaining, you know, an extra typing, and will evolve from breaks and starting at level 36, like the other Kalos starters. So Delphox is a human-like fox Pokemon that is covered in a dull red fur, and it has a yellow head and chest fur. It also has orange fur that branches out from its ears, much like Brakeson and Fennekin, and a white marking on the lower chest. It also has a small, bushy yellow tail, and flame-like markings on its knees, which are orange in colour. Its red fur flows down like a robe around its legs, and also has white fur on its cheeks, which flows outward slightly as we saw with Briggs and also Fennekin. It has small grey hands and feet, and a fox-like snout and nose. It also has deep red eyes, and carries a stick-like wand, much like how Briggs and kept a stick in its tail. It possibly stores this in its robe, as in its normal game sprite you can't actually see it, um, and it can also light the tip with fire, as you can see in its Nitsugumori artwork. As you would guess, there are, there's still fox bases for Delphox here, mainly based on a fox, you know, with the ears, the colouring and also the snout, but it has elements of a witch or a mage as well. This includes the psychic typing and also the use of a wand or a stick as, you know, a wand or a, a method of attacking. This obviously comes from the RPG trio, I guess you could call it, for the Chaos starters, where Chestnut represents a knight, Delphox represents a mage, and Greninja, as we'll find out in the next episode of Pokemon Origins, is based on a ninja. And this goes around in, in the usual format, that ninjas are good against mages, mages are good against knights, and knights are then powerful against ninjas, or whichever way you really want to look at it. That's how it's generally done in Kalos. <laughs> there are no differences between male and female Delphox, and Delphox's shiny form is a purplish robe colour, and also a duller ear or chest fur. Uh, I apologise for the bad quality of the shiny sort of model for Delphox there. It's just I have to recolour it using sample images from, well, pretty much from just pure camera phones and such. But um, yeah, anyway, looking at Pokedex entries, we can see that it can see into the future by focusing on particularly the tip of its wand or stick when it's alit, and also that it can create a fiery vortex of 5,500 degrees Fahrenheit or 3,000 degrees centigrade. The Japanese name Mafokushi is a combination of Madoshi, which means mage, and also fox or foxy. The English name Delphox is a combination of Delphic Oracle, which was a Greek myth about a priestess who delivered messages from Apollo to those who sought advice. It's also going with a corruption of fox, the PHOX. Looking at Delphox's model from Generation 6, you can see, very similar to Breaks, and actually, it's, it's a two-legged creature, bipedal, etc. And you can see, you know, generally, as I mentioned earlier, you can actually see where its wand is kept in the main, sort of, battle or stance. Um, you can, it's not like Breaks, and where you can see it's in its tail. So we can just assume it's tucked inside its robe somewhere, much like an actual mage would carry their wand. And finally, comparing sizes of myself, Ash, Fennekin, and Brakeson, as well as Delphox, we can see Delphox is a fairly tall Pokemon, again measuring from the tip of the head, not the tip of the ears. We can see it's almost as tall as Ash, but not quite. So it's, you know, a fairly human-like Pokemon. It's a Pokemon that I would imagine would be walking around with humans and the like as sort of a companion. So guys, that's it for this episode of Pokemon Origins, I hope you enjoyed it, and it would be awesome if you could leave a like and a comment down below, and if you want to see more of these videos, you can always hit that subscribe button just to see some more soon. So guys, I'll be seeing you next time, thank you for watching, goodbye.